Hi everyone, I'm Bruce Schwartz. Thanks for the interest in my channel. Thanks for the comments, the support, the contributions. Um, I can't thank you all enough. Getting a lot of amazing people coming here as curious as I am trying to find out what is going on out there. We're being fed lies, right? We've never been fed any truth, I don't think. Maybe only parts of some truths. Look at the color on the surface. It's there and uh, the moon, if I was to uh, tell you a color of what I'm seeing on the moon, I would say it's more of a brownish, greenish, bluish, colorful planet-like object because the moon has many colors. The white that we are seeing, all those lines of ejecta, supposed ejecta, so long me, I don't personally believe that they are ejecta, but hey, NASA did their experiments and I'm doing mine. It's just, I don't know where they were um, finding um, reason to show a moon that was entirely gray. For me, right off the bat, that was a sign of hiding something. Purple rocks, purple rocks, purple rocks, purple rocks. I've heard uh, Buzz Aldrin talking to Neil Armstrong on live video. 50 years ago, 60 years ago, I don't know, 100 years now, I don't know how long it was ago, but yeah, in 69, saying that, see, I told you, Neil, there are purple rocks on the surface. How could he have seen or known that there were purple rocks on the surface and having told Neil before even having landed? It's proof. It's there. And all those little proofs that I'm gathering up that I know inside my myself, inside my heart, I've seen them and I know what the overall story is. I don't know what the truth is, but I know there was a lie that was presented. Whether it be for our protection, whether it be uh, to defy us, whether it be to uh, remain secret amongst other countries and so that Americans would not leak any information, the information was hidden for some reason. In the 50s, and even during the war and because of the war, we've heard of secret societies. And I'm not talking about the Bavarian Illuminati. <laughs> I'm talking about secret societies that our governments form, like the States and probably even Canada. Um, NASA was formed, right? When it was, it was a president. And one of those presidents was it Eisenhower. Um, Dwight Eisenhower, U.S. President, permitted the establishment of NASA. He signed for it. He didn't create it himself. He signed for it. I don't even think he was in charge of it. But all these things that go on, like who's running it now? You know, make a long story short, we're not going to find out who the elites are, who's running the world. We'd never know that. It's handed down from spokesperson to spokesperson to spokesperson, all to keep that stock market going and to keep us busy and to keep investors investing with bringing out new technologies and new things for investors and rich people to invest into. And, you know, that's how the system goes, basically.
we're really looking on this channel at all my footage of UFOs now that look like biological creatures on the surface of the moon. I'll show you the best pass I've had so far. A lot of different types, some with yellow lights, some uh, letting off smoke, and that's the one in particular that I'm, I'm looking at. Um, as you see this, uh, and thanks for watching everyone, as you see this at the end, the clip, you are going to see uh, UFOs going, if you're looking at a dial north, east, south, and west, well, you'll see some going west, east to west, and you'll see some going south to north. And uh, whatever they may be, like I said, if you think they're craft, some of you, I mean, your guess is as good as mine, but for a craft to change into a gas, that is mind-boggling. They're not from here, guys. And, and here is the proof. UFOs all over the surface of the moon in different directions, going north, east, south, west, every direction. One spring a cloud here. You know, at one point I was wondering, are these storms? I don't think so. I think they're biological creatures. This is Clavius Crater that we're approaching. We can see the light in the left here. So much is going on with these objects. Can you think of it? So, so far I have objects, UFOs that are spewing out lights, clouds, and different forms and sizes and cloud-like. And I have some that are letting off yellow gases and mark my words, this will go unnoticed and these videos will be forgotten. But this is something that will come up in the future. It's not fake. So I know for a fact, science, if ever they do reveal it, at one point will reveal these gas-like formations and we'll know more about them. This is very real. Thanks for watching, everyone.